So the beer ads are with Bob Pease. He's president and CEO of the Brewers Association, which represents the, I guess, the independent, what you call independent and craft brewers. We have a lot of debates on the craft, what's craft, what's independent. However, my question is, there was talks here that there's been zero growth in the craft industry in the U.S. Yes. Uh, uh, and you talked about the best of craft is ahead of us. Sure. What do you mean by that and what can they do? Yeah. I think craft brewers need to continue to innovate. Uh, they need to find ways to have new, new occasions, they need to find ways to uh, attract new customers. And but if we do all those things, I think we will see craft return to growth. Yes, you mentioned this was the first time that craft overall craft volume did not grow. Uh, craft dollar share of the U.S. beer market did increase. And, uh, the number of breweries continues to increase. Now what we're seeing is the preferred you know, business model is the tap room brewery, and that's, and that's you know, the on-premise model is seeing growth. So tap rooms, brew pubs are growing. It's the distributed packaged craft beer that is uh, you know, struggling right now to you know, maintain relevance in the marketplace. Here in Europe, we're seeing some of the craft brewers, even though they survived COVID and they're still surviving the high supply prices, electricity, energy. Sure. Um, we're now seeing some starting to bail or just give up. Yep. Is that happening in the U.S. as well? Y yes, probably to a lesser degree than what maybe we're seeing here in Europe. The number of openings uh, are st is still outpaces the number of closings. 2023 might be the year where those two lines become parallel, but in 2021, the number of closings, uh, the number of openings outpaced closings still by a two to one margin. But uh, so we'll see. Uh, the, the overall failure rate of small and independent breweries in the United States is still shockingly low. Uh, and so for that, we're optimistic. We've seen a lot of the bigger player, well, AB and Bev, they had their experiments in buying out some of the craft breweries. Uh, you know, five, ten years, yeah. they see, saw an opportunity there. And of course, there was a lot of suspicion in the independent craft breweries. What are they going to do? Are they just trying to buy us out and kill us? And now we're seeing that in the annual reports where they've just seemed to have gone and they're using the word premiumization. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've noticed that. <laughs> Is that a danger for you? And, uh, you know, craft brewers now should really look at suspicious when they get an offer, unless, of course, that was their point in the whole. You know, I mean, for the Brewers Association, we never begrudged a craft brewer who wanted to sell to the largest competitor in the beer space. In many ways, that's the American dream, right? You start a business, you build it, you make, you p create value in it, and then you sell it to the largest competitor in your space. Why it was challenging for the Brewers Association and for craft brewers is that because it's beverage alcohol. And the way beverage alcohol is regulated, you need to almost in, invariably use a independent distributor to get your beer to market if you want to achieve scale. And unfortunately, for, at least from our perspective, the distribution tier is heavily, heavily influenced by the largest brewers. And so that's why, for us, that was a challenging time. That's what led us to create the independent craft brewer seal. Uh, so that we could try to stand out in the marketplace and so that the consumer would know what beer truly is independent. And the best days are ahead. Uh, should we see new styles? Uh, should we see new things? Uh, the innovation's coming out. Yeah, I mean, you never know where the craft brewing community is going to take us. Uh, but like I said on the stage, innovation is a hallmark of craft beer. I don't know what the next new style is going to be. Maybe, like I mentioned, and maybe it's the revert, re revert all the way back to, to light lager. But, uh, you know, craft brewers will find a way. How about technology, AI, and blockchain? Will that affect the industry? I'm sure it will. As you know, also you know, GMO and on the agricultural supply side, still to be still to be determined how that's going to impact craft. In terms, can they use that technology? I would think so. Yeah. Thank you for talking to the beer idiots. My, my pleasure, Med. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you so much. You bet.